Good morning. So I'm day four, out on the crossing routes, all by myself this time, with dairy farms, birds, peaceful, quiet, and a lot better weather than the last three days. My Camino. Buenos dias, cows. Buen camino. Mmm, it smells so good. I am surrounded by dairy farms. It triggers a really good memory for me in Spain. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm missing my fellow pilgrims and locals yelling Buen Camino to me everywhere. I miss that. I'll say it to anybody. I have no problem bringing the pilgrim spirit to Wisconsin. What do we have going on here? Peacocks, ducks, chickens, goats. <laughs> Did you hear that? Buen Camino! Every time I hear a rooster, that's what he's saying to me. Oh, look at all the cute animals. As I was whistling at the horses, this nice older man came out, Butch, and he knows I'm a hiker on the Ice Age Trail, so he uh, allowed me to use his toilet, which is nice, so I don't have to do a nature pit stop. My Camino! Because there's not a lot of places to pee, you're literally just peeing off the side of the road, which is, you know, I've got no shame for that, but <laughs> it's nice to use a toilet. Really great guy. Uh, he, you know, loves seeing Ice Age trail hikers go by and uh, gave me a huge hug, which I love hugs. I'm a total hugger. There are no strangers, just friends I haven't met yet. Speaking of pit stops, I have a funny story, <laughs> which reminds me of what just happened right now. Uh, when I was in on the Serengeti on a safari, uh, the girls that were in the caravan had to use the toilet. And now we are out in the bush. It's called, I think, a bush break, bush pit stop, something like that. And uh, the safari guide was like, ah, I don't think this is a good idea. Don't make it a habit to do these bush breaks because see that tall grass over there? There could be a lion hiding in there that could just come out and eat you. And he wasn't kidding. And I remember getting out laughing, thinking, yeah, it's probably not a good idea to do a bush break here. I love animals and <laughs> as long as I'm not lunch. And I try to say hi to all the animals along the trail, anywhere that I'm going. I love seeing animals of all kinds. And I was just looking way down the road and I saw this big black animal running around free. And I was like, Please be a pony, please be a pony, and not a dog, a big, big dog off leash. Because a lot of these places don't have underground fences and the dogs just run wild. Well, this dog, it was not a pony, it was a big black St. Bernard and it charged me barking. Woo! <laughs> I've got some badass angels, man. I was not lunch for the, the big dog today. Woo! All right, finally, back on the Ice Age Trail and off the connecting routes for a moment. Yellow Blaze, I'm so happy to see you.
This is nice. Oh, I love it. Trees and greenery and birds. Man, it's been uh, mostly asphalt all day, which is really hard on the joints. And then that little Tiss Mills boggy section was pretty muddy, really big puddles of which I sloshed through. <laughs> water up to way past my ankles and I did the whole day in flip-flops yeah my longest day hiking in flip-flops is 20 miles so I'm gonna just beat it today I think it's gonna be 21 and change anyway on my way to Mishicot and I have to say so far so good I'm loving this weather oh man you guys some good vibes. This is the part I get to cross it. It's going to be really cold <laughs> in my bare feet. Woo, yeah, that was pretty silly. <laughs> I made it to Mishicot and I'm here with my lovely trail angels, <laughs> Jenna and Mike, and we want to do a cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. 